La señora Hot y Shema os damos la bienvenida a los vídeos diarios de Acción Positiva. Oh, today is Talk It Out Tuesday. Hoy es Martes Marchoso. Let's get ready for a awesome day of learning and wellness. Listos para un gran día de aprendizaje y bienestar. The positive action word for this week is inclusion, and in Spanish, inclusión. Now, watch this beautiful lesson of Talk It Out Tuesday. Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Golden here. I just finished up being a guest on the Positive Actions podcast, and this week we talked all about diversity. I'm currently serving as Miss University City, and my social impact initiative is Starving for Change, Building Beautiful Minds Through Positive Body Image. I'm so excited to be competing in Miss West Virginia this coming June, and I actually wanted to share a book with you that has been really inspiring to me, and I hope it will be the same to you. And I think that it encompasses both diversity and positive body image. So let's get right into it. So this book is called Beautiful. And it is by Stacy McAnulty. Beautiful girls. Have the perfect look. Beautiful girls move gracefully. and light up every room. Beautiful girls know all about makeup. And have a smart style. Beautiful girls smile sweetly. and keep their hair properly in place. Beautiful girls smell like flowers. And sound like songbirds. Beautiful girls love to look in the mirror. and to spend time with beautiful people. Beautiful girls deserve compliments. Because they make the world beautiful. Thank you guys for listening to me read this book. Um, I just want to take a second and talk about it. My favorite part of this book is just the irony of the words with the pictures. And I think it's so relevant to women and young girls everywhere because we live in a society that places standards upon us. And oftentimes these standards are very unrealistic and they can cause poor body image. And I think what this book shows us is that our uniqueness is what makes us beautiful. There is no true definition of beauty because your individuality is what makes you special. So I just want you to remember that as you go into this new year. Thank you guys so much. Wow, that was beautiful. What a beautiful book. So boys and girls, now I want you to pause here and we're gonna discuss about all this question. It's time for Let's Talk About It. 
Hello, Super Scholars. It's Mrs. Hot, and I want to welcome you to Mindfulness Minute on Talk It Out Tuesday. Today, take a moment and join school therapist Lacey Kidwell, who will lead us in desktop yoga. So take a moment, put your books aside, and follow Miss Kidwell as she helps us relax and take a look at our social and emotional wellness. Are you ready? Now remember this. You are unique, you are important, and you are wonderfully made. It's Mrs. Kidwell here, school-based therapist from Widmeyer Elementary School. I'm going to show you guys another desktop yoga lesson today. So we're going to first start with our rainbow breath. So we're going to be seated tall with our feet flat on the floor, maybe a little bit, a little bit further than hips width apart. On our inhale, we're going to arch our back, pulling our chest and our belly out towards the front of our bodies. And the exhale, we're going to arch our back and bend forward. Okay, so we're going to do this a couple times together. Inhale, arching our back. Exhale, arching it the other way. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, and exhale. Once more, inhale, and exhale. Good job. Next, we're going to start um, in a standing position for our poses. So stand up nice and tall, feet about hip width apart. We're going to bring our arms above our head, holding on to our right wrist and leaning to the left for the blown palm. We'll hold it here for a couple breaths. And come back to center. Release your arms and kind of just flow with them by your sides, whatever feels good. We're going to bring our arms back up again, holding on to our left wrist this time and leaning to the right. Hold this for one more breath. And bring our arms back down to our sides. From here, we'll do our tree. So we're going to start in our mountain pose, bring our left foot up as our kickstand, our hands to our chest. Once you feel strong and sturdy in this pose, you can bring your arms up, throwing your branches and your leaves, and then letting your leaves fall. Coming back into our mountain pose and repeating this tree on the other side. So we're going to bring our right foot up, our hands to our chest. And whenever you feel like you're balanced and ready to move on, you can bring your arms up, throw your branches and leaves out, and then let your leaves fall. And coming back into our mountain pose, now we're going to move into our seated poses. So we're going to sit with our feet flat on the floor, chest and back sitting tall. And we're going to first do our seated side bend. So you can bring down your left hand onto your chair if you have room or onto your, your, your thigh, whatever feels comfortable. And bring your right arm over your head. Hold this for a couple breaths. And on the next exhale, we'll come back to center. And we're going to repeat this on our right side. So again, put your right hand wherever feels comfortable for you. Our left hand over top of our head. Feeling that stretch. 
And on our next exhale, we'll come back to center. All right, next we'll do our pretzel twist. So you bring your left arm behind you, either on the back of your chair, right behind your bottom, whatever feels comfortable, and bring your right hand onto your left knee and look behind you, feeling that twist. You can hold this for a couple breaths. And on your next exhale, come back to center. We're going to repeat the pretzel twist on the other side. So bringing our left hand onto our right knee, right arm behind us, and twisting back in. Holding this for a couple breaths. On your next exhale, come back to center. Very good. And lastly, we're going to do our peacock pose. So we're just going to bring our legs out in front of us, kind of our feet out a little bit further than hip width apart, whatever feels comfortable to you. You don't have to put them out too far. If they feel better inward more, that's fine too. And you're just going to lean towards your shins, stretching as far as whatever feels comfortable for you. And we'll hold this for a couple breaths. And on the next exhale, come back up slowly, placing your feet back flat on the floor. Very good. So that is all of our poses for today. Um, a little mindfulness activity I'd like for you guys to do sometime today would be to take some time and think about a place that makes you happy. Um, this is a great exercise to do. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you need a little bit of a break from your day, just take some, some time to think about what your favorite place is or a place that you'd like to visit. Um, that can give you a little bit of a break and just reset you for the rest of your day. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Thank you for joining us from home, school, and your community. Gracias por acompañarnos desde vuestro hogar, escuela, o comunidad. And remember, <laughs> you are unique. You are important and you're wonderfully made. Recordad, sois especiales, maravillosos e importantes. <laughs>